I'm still not sure about this. On table three, I I two barreled once so far as a bluff, and then at this point I thought maybe he could have you know some weird floats. He wasn't like floating out position that much, but maybe like sixes, four six, that kind of thing, five threes. So I two barreled, and then he called again really fast. At this point, I'm just like, okay, well, he's not gonna fold an ace because he's the Justin. And then I checked, and I mean, I'm sure this, the thought I just said probably contributed a lot to his play, but yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I'm not naive enough to think that the one time I two barrel is the one time he shows up with king ten. But at the same time, you know, um, it's still dissuading me from, you know, really opening up into a very aggressive barely style. Um, on table two, again, a uh, bunch of outs, gonna bet. And again, I just kind of keep on rivering like pairs when I have infinite outs. Um, just kind of check again. And on table four, I decide to just go ahead and play for stacks. Um, he folds very quickly. Uh, X-ray eyes, maybe. But yeah, I mean, he's. I mean, I think he's still playing well in three bet and four bet pops. So I mean, I'm not really. Um, I'm trying to keep things, at least for now, regular. Just kind of like regular pots, and then play from there. Um, let's see. Do do do. Yeah, do bet e five on the flop, and I guess I three bet higher, four bet, three bet, uh, jack six on table four for no real reason. Um, on uh, table one I got check raised. Uh, turns really good for me. Let's keep going. Um, it kind of takes away. Well. You know, it takes away pocket fours pretty much. Um, eight four and queen four are all pretty unlikely. Mm, unlikely enough that I'm just not going to consider them at all. Um, for him to, you can kind of see I just hit call. Um, the hand, the only hands I feel like I'm beat by here are, you know, king queen, queen jack, and maybe queen ten, and that's about it. And he had not really been following through on his bluffs that much. Especially when the ri when the river kind of like bricked out, you know, if he had like jack nine, the river came a diamond. He's gonna probably lean towards firing, but if he has diamonds and the river is the six of clubs, then I don't think he's gonna bet. Especially when the turn is a four, it makes it really hard for him to get me off a queen by the after I call the turn. So I just called expecting to go check check, and then if he bets, uh, if he bets on a scare card, I have to think about it. If he bets on a brick, then I am folding pretty quickly, given everything I know about him so far. And at this point, I'm just going to check pretty happy. Because, I mean, he still could have, like, queen 10 sometimes, or queen jack, and kind of either be trying to bluff catch or is not really confident in his value at set. Um, he does show jack 9. And on table 3, I make my first 3-bet uh, of the match. You know, it's just one of those, I just want to kind of see what happens. It's so... Um, yeah, generally the first time someone three bets after an hour, they're gonna have it. But you know, I was never, I wasn't really sure given some of the things that I saw. He, maybe he'd stack off with like Jack Ten or shove Queen Jack or something. So I figured I'd just kind of see what would happen. Um, my standard, given everything that had been happening up to now, would be to call the flop and then either get it in on the turn or the river, depending on what the turn or river was. But I would probably be like shoving over a turn bet, like I might with Queen Jack or something like that. Um. Okay, so flop top two on table one, or table two. Um, go to bet the turn, and then I'm just going to bet the turn and bet the river for value. Uh, the river is kind of wacky. Um, I'm not really going to go for that thin of value. And he has been checking behind enough to make me believe that he has clubs in his range. And table four was just kind of like a switch up, because I had been doing that a lot, or not a lot, I'd been doing it enough as bluffs earlier, before the video started, that 
I felt like it might be a good time to try it again. But he just some he just knew, so um, in the future I'll probably end up just betting the turn and betting the river there. But I mean you gotta you gotta at least change up a bit here and there. Yeah, table two. I think I just go to check it down because I've been leading. I've been leading so much that you know I was. I just didn't. Yeah, I mean I'll kind of leave it for next video, but I just didn't really play that well against all his checkbacks on the flop. Yeah, but we'll see a bit more of that later. All right, on table three, um, I just decided to check raise uh, eight six three. Again, it's one of those really dry flops where I'm not repping a whole lot, but he had been folding there pretty consistently, so I just figured why not. Um, I get very lucky in turn of jack. Uh, at this point, my my mind just kind of switches to value. Um, bet turn, bet um, pretty much every river. Um, the, there's not a lot of rivers I wouldn't bet. Might not bet an eight. Uh, might not bet like a uh, yeah probably just an eight. Um, and on table one, he check raises and you know, as opposed to the time I have with queens where I just kind of kind of tested the waters and see what would happen. I'm not gonna do that here. I'm gonna call and then see what the turn is. And on table two, I'm just gonna go for like a check call down. Uh, yeah, Rivers of Queen. It's not a. I mean, it's it's a decent enough card for me. If he was floating with nine ten or something like that, then I'm in trouble. But that's about it. Unless if he's, well, yeah. I mean, in terms of a queen being a bad card. Um, turn again. I just decide to flat. And uh, yeah, the turn was not anything scary at all. So I just decided to flat and then uh, flat river shove. And I call on the turn and then. At, on table two, and I guess I'm just folding this river now if he bets. Uh, and he does show up with nothing, so. Um, you know, I. I mean, there's not too much to say about that, just that he was check raising too much, I felt, so I just decided to trap. It's kind of common sense, it's not, you know, most brilliant thought of the century. And on table three, he. Um, he looks me up with ace eight, which is also, you know, he made a read. I think he made a correct read, and then just got unlucky that I turned uh, turned to jack. Uh, 